Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Recaps. Today I'm going to be explaining a 2022 Hindi crime thriller film titled, Monica, Oh My Darling. Goria, an employee at a robotics company, Unicorn, is in love with his best friend Shalu. That night her boyfriend comes into work and shares the happy news of their engagement. As he walks into the testing zone, one robot manages to get a hold of him and snaps his neck. The movie then takes us six months ahead, where Goria is finally with the woman of his dreams at a company get-together. He managed to woo her after giving her a shoulder to cry on. As the CEO gives his speech, one employee starts protesting about the death of his dear friend. They escort him out and we are introduced to the protagonist of the film, Jayant Arkadkar who is the latest board member of the company and is next in line to be the CEO. He shows off the capabilities of the robots of the company and it's revealed that he's soon going to be married to the CEO's daughter Sarika. The CEO's son Nishi on the other hand is an alcoholic and is upset with his father for not promoting him to be on the board of his company. Shalu is also Jayant's younger sister and is extremely proud of his achievements. We are then introduced to the secretary of the company, Monica, who woos everyone with her amazing dance moves at the party. Jayant has been having an affair with her for the past month and she claims to be pregnant with his child and blackmails him for financial support unless he wants the entire company to learn his secret. Not knowing what to do, Jayant storms out of there. He decides to come clean to his girlfriend but overhears her threatening her friend's boyfriend for cheating on her and chickens out at the last moment. The next day at the office, the CEO introduces him to his new chamber and everyone at the office celebrates his success. On the job, he finds a letter on his desk blackmailing him about his extracurricular activities with Monica along with indecent pictures of the both of them. The letter asks him to visit a hotel room that night and Jayant complies. He fearfully goes into the room only to find Nishi, the CEO's son waiting for him. Jayant thinks that he's after his job but no. Nishi claims that Monica slept with him too and is blackmailing him saying that she's pregnant with his son. He even introduces another man named Arvind who also claims the same. Arvind is in the accounting department of the company and went to Goa on a business trip but unfortunately got drunk and passed out. Now he's being blackmailed for the sex he doesn't even recollect. Monica is a scarlet woman who's blackmailing three men at the same time for the greed of money because she doesn't want to spend the rest of her life working and thinks she's entitled to the cash just because she's a woman. Nishi scares the men telling them that their lives will be ruined if the secret ever comes out and the three men then come up with a plan to kill her. Nishi makes them sign a contract that states the three are going to kill Monica as a fail-safe in case the two chicken out at the last moment. They figure out a complicated plan that would make it impossible for the police to track the murder back to them and decide to execute it the very next day. Nishi promises to commit the crime while the other two are in charge of hiding the body and covering up their tracks. The next day Jayant and Sarika travel to their lake house on the outskirts of Mumbai where he spikes her drink. Once she passes out, he gets his gear on and swims across the lake and gets on a train headed back to the city to meet up with Nishi and take the body off his hands. Meanwhile we watch as Nishi and Monica meet for dinner that night and that's when the murder is committed. Jayant reaches the designated spot and finds the body wrapped in yellow plastic and placed in a van as planned. He reminisces about the loving memories he's had with Monica but shrugs it off and carries on with the plan. He drives to the outskirts of the city and meets up with Arvind. Arvind was supposed to take over from there and bury the body but has a panic attack when he sees Monica. He begs Jayant to help him and seeing no other option he does so. The both of them drive into the forest and take the body out. Just as they plan to bury it they hear a leopard growling at them and they run for their life leaving the body exposed. Jayant then gets on a train to get back to his girlfriend. Since it's already very late, he steals somebody's bike and zooms to the lake house. After the long swim, he finally reaches the house only to find Sarika already awake waiting for him. He lies to her claiming that he tried to find pearls for his loving fiancé and she hugs him with overwhelming joy even though he couldn't get his hands on any. The next day at the office, Jayant and Arvind seem to be on their toes after the crime they committed the previous night. At a meeting, the both of them are left speechless as they witness Monica walk into the office with her head held high, charming everyone around her. The same day during an excursion in the jungle, two people spot a dead body floating in a lake. 
After an investigation, the media released the news that Nishi Andakari, the son of a businessman, was found murdered in the jungle. Jayant and Arvind speculate that Monica must have committed the murder and hidden the body in the van. But now, the both of them are terrified that she must have also gotten her hands on the contract and might come after them for it. Soon after, the police are now on the case. They start interrogating everyone at the company and we are introduced to Officer Naidu who's leading the case. She interrogates Jayant and scares him by assigning blame on the basis that he was made to join the board of directors instead of Nishi and the feud between the two must have been what led to the murder. Lucky for him, this was well planned out and Jayant claimed to be with his girlfriend at their lake house outside the city. At the funeral, Monica seems to be taunting Jayant everywhere he goes and that seems to be messing with his mind. He tries to cheer his girlfriend up for the death of her brother but she just doesn't seem to care and is glad that the man is dead as she couldn't stand him. That night, Jayant receives a mysterious box from Nishi. Just before opening it, he watches the news which claims that Arvind passed away after he received a box in the mail and when he opened it, he was bitten by a venomous cobra. Jayant figures out that his box also contains a cobra and throws it to the ground. Unfortunately he slips and is now face to face with the deadly creature. He manages to remain calm and not move a muscle until the cobra slithers away. Fearing his life, the next day, Jayant decides to come clean to the CEO. Just then Monica gives him some tea and fearing that it might be poisoned, he walks away. That evening he gets a picture of the contract from an unknown number. He is instructed to go to the terrace of the building where he finds a copy of it. While reading it, somebody comes up from behind him and pushes him off the building. This man is revealed to be Goria, the man who married Shalu, Jayant's sister. Luckily, Jayant manages to grab onto the ledge of the building. He spots the letter on the floor below and when he tries to grab it, it falls down onto the cop's car. He runs down as fast as possible and gets his hands on the letter before the cops have a chance to have a look at it. There he runs into Goria who is shocked at the fact that Jayant managed to survive after he pushed him off the building. Jayant realizes that the contract is a copy and eats it so no clues are left behind. Having had enough of this, Jayant plans to finish the job himself. He goes to Monica's place that night and they both have a heated argument. Jayant takes off his belt and manages to tangle her neck around it. Just before she runs out of breath, Jayant looks at his reflection and has a last minute epiphany. He lets her go, and Monica claims that she did not kill Nishi. She waited for him that night, but he never showed up. They both sort it out and embrace each other. As they decide to have some wine, Jayant gets a call from his girlfriend. On returning back he sees Monica dead on the couch. Somebody else murdered her by spiking her drink and not wanting to take blame for it, he covers up his tracks and bolts out of there. On his way down the stairs, he runs into an old blind lady who gets a whiff of his perfume. The next day the police are on the case again. While going through old company files, Shalu finds a document stating that her ex-boyfriend's death was due to Jayant's negligence and she lashes out at him. When approaching the CEO about it, he tells Jayant that they knew he had nothing to do with the death so they kept it a secret. But they still doubt that there might have been some human intervention. Knowing that there was no way to prove it and the incident would showcase the company in a bad light, they just swept it under the rug. Jayant rushes to his sister's place and tells her the truth about how he had nothing to do with her ex-boyfriend's death. The real culprit Goria stands right next to them acting all innocent. Jayant claims that since those are his machines, he has back-end access and can retrieve deleted files as well. So Jayant and Goria head to the lab. At the lab, Jayant checks the history logs and finds out that the person behind the whole incident was none other than his brother-in-law. They both go at it and Jayant passes out after hitting his head. Goria drags him to the robot testing area and on the way confesses to everything he did. He killed Shalu's boyfriend because he believed that she was his soulmate and saw no other way. When he committed the crime though, Nishi was standing right behind him and saw everything. He spoke to Goria in a very respectful tone and as time went by he started to make him do some tasks for him like placing cameras in Monica's apartment. One day, Nishi asks Goria to kill Monica for him and when he refuses, Nishi threatens to tell Shalu the truth. Fearing he'll lose the love of his life, Goria ends up killing Nishi. 
That's when he found the contract and thinking Arvind and Jayant know his secret, he decided to finish them off too. But he did not kill Monica and claims that somebody way more powerful than him did that job. Goria turns on the robot and just as he's about to kill Jayant, he wakes up and dodges it. They go to and fro for a bit until the robot malfunctions. Goria then comes in to finish the job and the robot ends up grabbing him by the neck and breaking it. Since Jayant built the robot, he could also control it with his watch and that's how he managed to escape. Soon after, the police are called and Jayant blames all the murders on Goria. But Officer Naidu still believes that Jayant killed Monica as she interviewed the blind woman from Monica's building who got a whiff of Jayant's perfume the night of the murder. Lucky for him, the next day, another employee kills himself the same way Monica died and in the suicide note takes all the blame as he felt guilty over it. The truth is finally revealed at the end when Jayant asks Officer Naidu, whose baby did Monica really have? Apparently, the CEO and Monica were having a fling and she got pregnant with his son. She then started to blackmail him too, after which he tasked one of his employees to inject poison in her wine. After this, the employee starts badgering the CEO to be on the board of directors, at which point he calls Officer Naidu and asks her to finish the job. Officer Naidu asks Jayant to stay alive as she's a corrupt cop who works for the CEO and realizes that Jayant will be next in line and her best source of income. Jayant still doesn't know what happened to the contract. He doesn't find it in the office and decides to search Goria's house. He finds the contract and burns it. But to his shock, two snakes confront him. As they attack, the contract falls to the ground and the screen goes dark. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.